What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today I am showing you guys the Hata, or Hoda, H6 Pro AC-DC Smart Charger. Um, so let's go ahead and do kind of unbox it, kind of check out exactly what all the features it has, and uh, kind of give you my thoughts of it. So it comes with a AC power adapter, where you can just plug this into the wall. It does also come with very limited instructions. Pretty much just basic information, just some warning labels or whatever. Um, doesn't really tell you much how to operate it, so that's pretty much garbage. Um, then we also have right here, it comes with some stickers as well, which I probably won't ever use. But then we also have the charger itself. So without it being on or anything like that, we do have our inputs here. So we do have our AC input to the wall, so we can use 110 volts up to 240 volts AC in depending on where you are um, so then we also have our DC in and it goes up to 6.5 volts up to 30 volts and then we also have a USB plug right here so we can go ahead and interface with a computer and do some updating on the firmware and whatnot then we also have this little port here this is for testing receivers and everything else like we can check to see if they're working correctly or even use this as a PWM output possibly could maybe even use it for I don't think you can use it for motor testing but you can definitely use it for servos <clears throat> and then over here we do have our one out this is where you're gonna plug your battery in to charge it and then we also have our balance plug here and then we also have a USB plug so you can charge your phone charge anything like a smart uh, fat truck battery that has a little um, USB plug on it or anything else such as USB like a GoPro or whatnot so that's that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to turn this thing on. Now I'm going to use an external battery um, just because I want to. So let's go ahead and plug that sucker in there. So this is pretty much the main menu. And real quick, let's go ahead and just show you how the charger works. So we're just going to plug in a, this is a 4S battery I have plugged into here for a power supply. It doesn't really matter at this point. And then I'm using this 4S battery here to charge. Not really the best setup here, but it's what I'm using for the time being. Um, to take advantage of a charger like this, you probably would want like um, like a 5,000 or a 10,000 mod, like a giant LiPo pack, so you can charge like 10 packs um, and do parallel charging with it. So that would probably come in handy. Um, if you're looking at some, something to charge at the field, like you're doing a race and you need to charge batteries there, um, you probably want to get a big, nice big battery to... Uh, supply that charging so let's go ahead and plug this in let's kind of show you the basics of the charging setup here um, so you go ahead and hit the center button here you can shut off the beep so you don't have to have it beeping all the time um, and then this right here is kind of like a touch type of buttons here I don't really care much for the buttons that much I like the jog wheel of like the ISDT chargers that just feels quicker and easier actually before I'm gonna go ahead and charge this thing um, Go ahead and go back real quick. I'm gonna shut off this annoying um, beeping because it really is kind of annoying. So you just hold that, hold, you hold pretty much that, and then you get into the main charger settings, and then you can come down here. Where is it here? System parameters. That's probably what it is. Yep. And we can shut the volume to off for now. All right, so we can shut that off. It's so much quieter now. All right, so we're gonna go back and um, we'll get to this later. So pretty much charging, you just hit the center button there or center pad, wherever you wanna call that. Um, so now we have all these options here to charge. So we can go ahead and charge. We can also tell it we're using a power supply. Um, and I do have a power supply too, but it has a fan on it. And I don't really wanna make too much noise in this video. Um, then we also have charge, which is just a regular LiPo charging. Then we have discharge, where we can discharge the pack um, just normally and just let the fan kind of dissipate the heat. Then we also have external discharge. And then we also have um, this one here to regenerate uh, discharge. So um, you can external discharge and regenerate discharge pretty much into a battery. I believe that's pretty much what it means. Um, or maybe you can discharge this pack. I think that's what uh, actually external discharge is. This is going to go ahead and discharge whatever you have plugged in and then regenerating discharges you're going to take the battery voltage out of this 
and put it into the pack. So say you have like a giant pack and you were done flying for the day, you can go ahead and set this up and you can just replenish your battery. That's your, your main power, your main battery to go ahead and use it another time. Um, then we also have balance charge and all the other stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and just do charge. Now, balance charge and charge is pretty much almost the same thing. Um, but the thing with balance is that you can plug your battery into here and say it's already charged but the cells are kind of off. You can go ahead and hit balance and it will balance all the cells. So it won't really charge the whole battery up. Um, then we also have uh, charge. So we're going to go ahead and get charge. And then we have lipo and we have all different things we can pick um high lipos whatever and this is a 6s battery charger so it doesn't go any higher than 6s you can also charge some antelope batteries if you have those um but yeah it has a lot of different types of um, batteries you can charge with it, it even has the smart battery function as well which is kind of nice so we're going to click on lipo and then we're going to click on um cell count so it's a four cell of course and 1.5 amps is correct um, pretty much how you figure out your amperage um, take your battery so say this one right here is a 1500 battery so one if you want to charge at 1c which would be 1.5 or 1500 so you just pretty much move the decimal point, point over and you get 1.5 amps and if you have two uh, 1500 batteries together then that will be 3 amps. 1.5 plus 1.5 is 3 amps. So if you're parallel charging, say 10 batteries of these, then that will be uh, 15 amps because you have 1500 times 10 batteries is 15,000. And that's how you get to your C rating. Um, so hopefully that, if anything, that taught you something today. Um, so I'm going to click on charge. And that's pretty much a screen that's going to look like when you're charging your battery. And when it's done, it's going to go ahead. Actually, when it's done fast charging, it's going to go ahead and beep. And then if you wait like a minute, it's going to go ahead and start balancing the pack. Um, and then that will say it's done charging at that point. Um, so as you can see here, we have this screen here. This is 1.45 amps it's charging at. And then the wattage, 23 watts. Um, if you click on this down here, it also tell you your... Um, your IR or your um, what the hell is it called? The pretty much the, the health and healthness of the um, cells in the battery. Um, as you can see right here, 9.2, 9, 8.7, 8.2. .2, that's actually pretty good, um, considering this battery is like a year old. That's actually really nice. Um, I probably would be able to go on the charger for about 10 minutes before you kind of determine exactly what this is and how do you use this. Is right here now. I see they're all kind of in the same area. They're around nine here now if you see one cell go up to like 15 and the other ones are at 9 or two cells are at 15 and then pretty much if they're all within each other like a margin of error within each other then you're fine but if you see them double then you know your battery's starting to go and you probably should replace it soon discharge it get another battery um so that's how you use that so i'm gonna go ahead and stop this here let's click on that hit stop and then we can go ahead and go into the main settings that we have here to how to use some of the other features we have. Um, we have our task perimeters. So that's pretty much what we went in before. Um, this is safety timers, trickle charge, and all that stuff. I believe the trickle charge is actually for the USB port. Um, and then we also have system perimeters here. And this is how we can select, like, say you have like a forest cell here, like I do. Um, the minimum input voltage is 15 volts. So this won't ever get run down um below what i want it to be run down to kind of around storage voltage um, a little below um, then we also have um, where you can pick how much maximum output power i always always have that on the max i don't really see a reason why you'd want that lower um, and then we also have like i said you can change you can name your device and all that other stuff here um, then here's we have our tools we have our pwm measurement and also our servo tester this is what's going to use that back pin there it has the plus the minus and a signal um, i don't have anything on hand at the moment to really show you guys how this works um, but if i click on it you can kind of see here where we have like it tells you pretty much your milliseconds and all the things to so pretty much control a servo so i'm going to go ahead and get out of this and then we have calibration now you can calibrate it but it's supposed to be already calibrated from the factory now how 
calibrated this is from the factory, I have no idea. I've been using it and I haven't noticed a problem with it. So um, it's charging the batteries perfectly. I've been testing them on like my little voltmeter and my voltage um, checker and everything's checking out perfectly. So it's charging everything perfectly fine. Um, and then we also have system self-checking here. It'll pretty much check the system to make sure everything is working right. And uh, of course it yells at me because I have a battery plugged in so we can't check everything. Um, so I'll plug and plug that. And then we have our factory settings here. I don't want to reset it. And then system information, just pretty much the firmware and everything else that's on it. So um, the really interesting things about this charger is that this does only do, I believe it's 300 watts. Um, if I'm correct, let me make sure. Uh, 200 watts from the wall. So if you're in a pinch and you need to go ahead and charge your charger, um, you know, just charge some batteries and all you have is AC, you don't have external battery or whatever, then um, you get 200 watts out of it. So you can charge actually pretty good off of 200 watts, believe it or not. Um, but considering um, a lot of us now are probably using 6S, um, if you're, ch say for instance, charging 10 6S packs, that is about 340 watts um, to charge 10, 1250 milliamp packs. So then you'll be going over that and it won't let you charge anything over what exactly it's um, rated for. So that's when you wanna go ahead and plug in a battery where you'll actually get up to 700 watts of charging power. So you can charge technically, um, you know, 10 6S packs um, at 2C or 3C rating Actually, I believe it would be more of a 2C rating. You couldn't go any higher than that since that would be almost over 700 watts. So, um, but yeah, but you can pretty much charge faster through the field because you're, you're probably flying and you want to get your batteries done in, you know, an hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour opposed to waiting an hour and a half to two hours. So, um, yeah, so this actually would come definitely handy and save you some time if you're interested in purchasing a charger at this point. All right, so my final thoughts on the Hata H6 Pro Smart Charger. I've had some time to play with it and charge quite a few batteries off of it, and I do like it. I genuinely do like it. I like the screen. I like how it tells you your amps, your watts. I like how it's kind of neat and nice. Um, the, pretty much the only thing I, I don't like really about it is the fact that these buttons here, i rather have a scroll wheel like I mentioned before. Um, I wish also that it did have an extra output to charge two sets of different batteries at the same time. I believe with the 700 watt output when you're on a battery um, would definitely benefit from that. So you can have like four cells charging on this side and then have some six cells charging on this side. Um, but having this maybe in your backpack, um, using this at the field, um, this would probably would come in real handy, especially for racers at the, you know, the racetrack and they need to charge like five or six or seven or eight batteries at a time. And they have a big battery to go ahead and do that with. Um, so yeah, I would definitely give it a recommendation to pick up. Um, so I will be leaving a link down this below. It will be an affiliate link. Um, it does help support the channel tremendously. Um, even if you're not interested in purchasing this charger and you're interested in purchasing something else you see on Banggood, um, go ahead and click on my link and then just purchase whatever you want and then um, I'll get credit for your purchase. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys have this charger, let me know down in the comment section down below and let me know how you guys like it. Um, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.